Today, Stephen Elwood runs a very successful real estate business, even after undergoing a quadruple bypass and living with diabetes and high blood pressure, which he controls with medication, dietary changes, and maintaining an active lifestyle. I feel fine. Uh, I've learned to cope. A substantial portion of patients with coronary artery disease have diabetes. It appears that tremendous effort and expense is used to deploy multiple drugs and multiple additional strategies to lower blood pressure in diabetic patients. Dr. Carl Pepin from the University of Florida Gainesville and co-authors studied a subgroup of 6,400 patients from a larger randomized trial called INVEST, involving more than 22,000 participants from 14 countries. Those in the subgroup were 50 years and older, had diabetes, coronary artery disease, and a need for blood pressure medication. Patients who were in the category called tight control, defined as a systolic blood pressure of less than 130, actually did poorly compared to the patients who were in the usual control category, and that was defined as less than 140 millimeters of mercury, uh, but uh, greater than 130. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. They did poorly in that more of them died compared to the patients who had blood pressures in the usual control range. The study results supported other data indicating patients whose blood pressure was not controlled or greater than 140 also had poorer outcomes. As for Stephen, he is living every day to the fullest. It's amazing what you can do uh, when you deal with what has been given you. You just make it work and I make it work. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.